Restore for skin. When you take the Restore, it does smooth your skin and, and get rid of wrinkles from the inside out. This is for your skin. It will also do the same thing because it does have the hyaluronic acid in it, smooth out lines and wrinkles. It actually helps heal things like acne. It will keep your skin, um, which is your, your biggest organ, in a healthy state. People don't realize that skin is an organ of the body. Um, what it does too is it will, um, let me see if I can say this right, it will help signs of aging also from sun damage and it's really cool. Smells nice, goes on nice, doesn't feel greasy. Just introduced to it and I love it already. Okay, I finished with our products. I hope you've enjoyed this. I have. Thank you for listening. I want to introduce back again our top giver, our person who knows, knows everything about New Essentials, leader of leaders, Mr. Sean O'Connor. Guys, give it up for Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're so fortunate to have Kathy as a part of the team. Uh, she, you know, she really knows what she's talking about, and uh, she's really here to help everybody grow their business. So, so I appreciate it. Absolutely. The fun part, definitely. Uh, so what I want to do, guys, is just uh, we're going to walk you through our system here. But uh, before we do, um, you know, this is some other customer sources. When you, we're going to talk about private business receptions in our system. And when you have one, anybody that's not interested in getting started in the business, you need to get them as a customer, right? Um, you want to talk to your family and friends. Think about all the people that you know that have aches and pains, that want to lose weight, that burn a lot of candles, that are drinking Starbucks coffee, <laughs> that have pets. So think about you know think about the people that you know and make sure that you know you let them know what you have. Uh, anybody that takes a multivitamin that's a pill form that's not being effective, right? Um, daily contacts that you bump into, people that you hear complaining about different things. And, uh, you know, use and carry the alert samples. One of the best ways to get customers, you know, you can fit a, a couple in your purse or I always have one in my pocket and if I go to a restaurant, I'll set it on the table or, you know, just get it out there and, and view of people. It's one of the greatest, easiest ways to get customers. So let's talk about building a team. And as a certified marketing representative, right, you want to go out and find those three representatives of which you'll make the $70 bonus per person, right? Now, you want to, when you get a new reps gets when a new representative gets started, you want to help this person set up two PBRs, private business receptions, to introduce the business to their friends and family within 10 days. Two PBRs, 10 days. This is going to assure that a new representative gets off to a good start. And we'll get into what a private business reception entails and how it works. Now, why do you want to be a senior marketing representative? This is where the fun begins. As a senior marketing rep, your bonus money doubles, your residual income goes up 4%, and there's all these other bonuses here that we don't even talk about, we don't even get into a lot of detail, and those are things that you'll learn more about in extended training. But understand, 14% on your fifth level as a senior marketing representative. You know where that said 4800 bucks, that example where you make $4,800? As a senior marketing rep, it's $6,800. So you make an extra couple thousand dollars if you're a senior marketing rep. Now, all this money is good and great, but we gotta get there. So how do we get there? We get people started with their private business receptions. And this is the schedule that people need to use for our matrix system in the private business receptions. Monday through Thursday, we have 6.30 and 8.30 time slots available. And these are the two prime time slots where people are off from work. And the idea of a private business reception is this. It allows us to reach more people in a less amount of time, right? Instead of sitting down with people individually, we get a new representative started. They're going to create a contact list and they're going to just start banging out calls, going through the numbers, and they're going to get as many people confirmed for a private business reception as possible. The goal is to get 20, 30 people confirmed for a private business reception. Now, as a top executive, somebody that's going to be presenting to people at a private business reception, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to leverage myself because I've got 
out of the 20, 30 people that you confirm, 10 to 15 are going to show up, right? It's only a, it's a numbers game. A lot of people, they just don't show up. And by having two scheduled within 10 days, if you call up somebody and they say, oh, I'm not available for that time, then you've got a, a second time that you can plug them into. So your goal is to get masses of people into your private business reception to share the opportunity with them and have a top executive come in and do the presentation. These are the set times because people get usually have jobs. They work till usually five o'clock. So you're going to set up with your top executive, your upline, or your sponsor a time to do two private business receptions. These are the time slots that you invite them. And then Saturday, there's four, six, and eight p.m. Now in Boca, this area here, we have a weekly private business reception at Bogarts right up the street, and that's at seven o'clock. So if you're in this area, you always have that one that you can plug into on a weekly basis. Scheduled training. There's leadership training that I have right here on 7 p.m. on Friday nights. Now this is by invite only, which means that you've got to be a leader, and the, this is what sets us up. That it takes your business to the next level. So you've got to meet some certain qualifications and be invited to this. This is going to be these people that come on Friday nights are people that are going to be helping us expand into other markets. They're going to the people that help us put together the presentations, that help us set up events and do all those different things. So if you work hard enough, you can get invited to the Friday night leadership meeting. Saturday, 9:45 to 12 every Saturday. Um, it's typically here every Saturday um, in. Uh, a couple of weeks it won't be here because I'm going to be doing a seminar all weekend. It'll actually be at Aaron's place. He's been uh, gracious enough to host it and um, that's right up the street. And we have all our, our schedule of events on box.net slash dynasty so you can always keep track and up to date with what's going on. So Saturday training is for representatives and second lookers. This isn't a good time to bring people that have never seen or don't know anything about the business. Saturday training is set up so that as people are doing private business receptions throughout the week, the people that don't get involved, they get a personal invite to Saturday training. Most people, if they don't get involved, it's because they don't know if they can personally do this. They don't, they're not sure, right? So by getting them to a Saturday training, they get to learn the system and see, hey, I can do that. It's simple enough. So you get them here for Saturday training. Now, people must RSVP for Saturday training. As you can see, space is limited. And you also want to put that urgency on it and make it exclusive, right? If you just tell somebody, hey, come Saturday, you know, doors open, then they're most likely not going to see it as a priority. So get them to come on Saturday training. But guys, please do let me know when you're coming and how many people so that I can prepare for that as well. Um, the goal is in the next few months to, or to actually get another place. So if anybody knows a place locally um, that we can use that will you know, entertain more people, you know, definitely keep your ears open or let me know. So let's talk about PBR. First step, make your list. Now, when you enroll a new representative, your job, your responsibility as a sponsor is to help this person make their list. Not tell them to go do it, but actually help them make a list, okay? In this business, it's all about duplication. So what you do with somebody is gonna duplicate throughout your organization, and that's why you need to sell out to the system. You need to do things as we teach you and coach you in training. So help people make a list of 100 contacts. Now most people are like, well, I don't know 100 people. It's not people that you talk to every day. It's not people that you think in your head would want to do this. Write down 100 contacts, people that you do business with, your dry cleaner, people that cut your lawn, people that you get cut, cut your hair, people that you don't, haven't talked to in five years. You want to put them on this list from high school, from the, the organizations you've been involved with. It doesn't matter when the last time it was that you talked to them, guys. You're simply putting down people that come to your mind and you're not judging. But what you want to do is create an A-list, uh, 10 A-list prospects, okay? Out of that 100 people, Find the top 10, the people that are already successful, right? And it doesn't mean in business, it means that they could be successful, they could be good at sports, it doesn't matter. They're, they're a leader, so that people look up to them, they have a network. Those are the people we want to reach out to first. We do not want to start at the bottom, we, we want to get successful people, right? We don't want to think about, oh, well, this person really needs this business, they're dead broke. Those aren't the people that you want to do business with because, guys, they obviously don't know what it takes to become successful. Now, I'm not saying that some of those people won't become successful, but I'm saying you're looking for people that are leaders, that stand out, right? Those are the people you want to enroll into your business. You want to start at the top. And if you guys have come to our meetings, come to our family reunion, 
you can see that this company 